everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my March favourites. I'm so excited because I really feel like I bought so much makeup in the month of March and I did really try a lot of things. I feel like a lot of the stuff I did by the month of March didn't actually make it to this favourites. I'm still like trying to develop an opinion on like a lot of stuff that I've bought in, you know, the last month. I feel like we need a jacket, we need a jacket, wait. There was no point to me going out and getting that jacket. I just felt like popping on a jacket. I just haven't done it off the shoulder in a while. So I bought so many highlighters in like the month of like February and March. And I don't know, like a lot of things that were just really hyped up and I just didn't really love. Like I'm wearing it now, the Nicole Guerrero and ABH palette. I'm just looking at all the different angles so I can do that. I have it on just there. I do like it. I've mixed two shades. I think Glow Getter, which is the darkest one, and then Daydream, the kind of orangey one. I'm not loving it. It's very glittery. It's really emphasized on the texture there, and I don't really have a lot of texture. I think I've kind of just broke out in the last two or three days, and it's really just emphasizing it, which I don't love. The Kylie Kylie Light uh, Up. The Kylie Cosmetics Car Lighter. At first when I tried it, I was so, so, so disappointed. And then I think I realized that it's probably one of those highlighters that you kind of need to scratch off the top surface to kind of get it. Because every time that I've worn it, like in the past few days, after having scratched off that initial top layer, I've loved it. But I thought it was too premature, like I can't lie, it was, it was premature. Hopefully in the next month I will have a lot of the highlighters which I've kind of featured on my Snapchat, in my haul. Hopefully I'll have kind of an opinion on all of them. To kind of give you guys somewhat of like a review, at least to have a yes or a no on them. That's kind of what I want to establish. But at the minute, I'm just in, you know, beauty product limbo with a lot of stuff. And I just, I feel like I need to keep trying stuff and just keep going for it. And then finally form, you know, an opinion. I have not had big curly hair like this since I was maybe 17, 18, 19. Like, I'm just like, yeah. So without further ado, I've been loving some really, really great products this month. So let's get right into this video. First thing I'm going to grab, talking of how as this was just a coincidence, I did not plan this, I swear. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. This is in the shade 20 Watt. I actually wasn't loving this throughout the month of March as much. I didn't wear it as much, but I did love it throughout the month of February. When I went to Ireland last month, I wore this every single day. I was in Ireland for five days and I wore this every single day. There were days when I was like, okay, maybe I should try another highlight. And I was like, no, I love this one. It's the most beautiful golden peach highlight. Like I just, I can't like... <laughs> It looks so orange there, but when you blend it out, it's kind of similar to what I've got on today. It will come up a bit more orange. There's a bit of like a peach reflect in there, which just makes this highlight so stunningly amazing. I bought this on Beauty Bay. It retails for £3.50. So I think this is just a really worthwhile product. It really does give you that metallic shine. For the price, it can't be beat, honey. Am I giving you Victoria's Secret? Am I giving you Princess? I watched Beauty and the Beast last, like, two weeks ago, so, you know. The next thing I'm going to talk about is actually a brush. This is a brush from Morphe. I am obsessed with rose gold. So when I saw this rose gold brush, I was like, I have to have it. I have to have it. I love white haired brushes when they look like this and they have that really beautiful ombre effect. I don't know what it is. I like the look of a used brush. I don't know. It's just, it's really weird. That's got nothing to do with why it's been put in this video. But this is the Morphe R38. This is basically like a crease brush. I have been obsessed with this brush for the last month. Every time I'm doing a look, every time I'm popping out, because most of the time I am going to work, I'm going somewhere in a rush because I'm really bad with time, unfortunately. I will literally just grab this brush regardless of what look I'm doing. I will literally grab a nice neutral orange brown, whatever transition color you can see is kind of full of one specific shadow from one specific palette that I'll actually talk about in a minute. But it's literally so soft. It applies color amazingly and I find that I can really blend my shadow really easily. Something like this, especially if you're a beginner, it really helps you to control the product. It doesn't apply too much at all, just the right amount. And I also like to use this just on my outer V. Overall, it's a very good affordable brush. I love rose gold and I love Morphe, so it's the best of both worlds for me. Next up, we have a skincare product. This is the Soap and Glory Beauty Sleep Accelerator. I actually bought this last year and like didn't really have an opinion on it. You guys know how I hate not having an opinion on something. I like to know, like, do I hate it? Do I love it? I bought this product last year when I was going to New York. I bought it because I love the idea of staying hydrated on planes. If you're on a plane for six hours, it's really important to keep your skin hydrated. As I said, I bought this last time when I was traveling to New York. I bought this for the flight and I didn't really use it, but I've been using it 
time a lot as of recent it's basically just like an overnight um moisture kind of pack you know how in like korean cosmetics you have an overnight sleeping pack which gives you moisture you wake up you have really nice refreshed skin well this does that for me it's just a really nice thick cream i'll try and show you guys the consistency like it's one of those creams that you definitely don't blend in all the way you just kind of want to let it sit on the surface so if you leave the cream kind of like that that's perfect and overnight your skin will just take in all the moisture you wake up with soft supple skin in the morning for the last two weeks i've just been loving it next up we have another skincare item this kind of does the same thing for me as the soap and glory beauty sleep accelerator but it's for the eyes instead this is from the organic pharmacy and this is their lip and eye cream i don't use on my lips because it's got a really thick texture so i don't really know how exactly they want me to do on my lips again it's a slightly thicker texture if only you guys could feel it because she's thick and it's a little bit tacky as well basically i use this every night before i go to bed it's part of my really extensive nighttime skincare routine i use this every night and when i wake up in the morning my under eyes feel so soft even as i'm applying it my under eyes just feel so soft it's not a revolutionary product by any means it's not necessarily going to darken your eye circles if that's a problem that you have i don't really suffer from dark eye circles so that's not something that i'm looking for i just want hydration i want to prevent any premature creasing you know i'm 22 so it's really important to avoid uh, premature aging as much as i can i try not to focus on that stuff too much because i think it's life we're all gonna get old you know i think when women are aging they look the most beautiful but if there's something that i can do to just you know take care of my skin and kind of be in control of at least one area of my life <laughs> then I'm going to do that and I think investing in eye creams, neck creams, they're really good preventative measures. I love that Ipsy is always introducing me to these new products. If you've noticed kind of in the past three four months I've mentioned like a mini travel size that item that I've got from Ipsy and the reason why I started doing Ipsy bags is to start trying out new products so I can introduce you guys to new products and just try different things for you guys as well so you know just keep the products in rotation. Once this finishes I will be sure to buy the full product. Next up, we actually have an eyeshadow palette. I feel a bit torn that I love this palette because I know that this palette is such a bone of contention for a lot of people. A lot of people love it and then some people are just really indifferent about it. They don't think that it's amazing. They think that there's so much hype over the palette. It's actually a palette that I featured in my last video. Was it really worth it though? Hashtag overhyped products. Um, I will leave the link up top here for you guys in case you have not watched it. The palette I'm talking about is the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I'm not gonna lie, I've literally been rotating between two or three looks, but this palette has literally given me one of my all-time favourite looks of all time. Of all time. This shade here, Summer Yum, has to be one of my favourite eyeshadows of all time. The pigmentation is insane. It's so buttery. I literally lightly dipped my finger in that and it gave me that. Like, can we just? Summer Yum just here, as well as Bellini, this gorgeous pinky gold shade. Then we have just Peachy, Luscious and Cobbler and then Candied Peach these five or oh, six I should say and peach tart I should say oh my god and delectable all the shadows that I just mentioned are hands down my favorite from this palette overall I'm not too much of a fan of Too Faced I don't feel like they cater to dark skin girls as well as they could there's a lot of things that their brand could improve not to knock their brand at all but that's my opinion as a consumer which is obviously why I was a bit reluctant to try this palette but I have to say like if other people tell you that this palette isn't good don't listen they hate us this is the Jouer lip topper in the shade Skinny Dip. I hauled this in my last haul. If you want glossy, metallic, full, luscious looking lips, look no further. This lip topper, oh, I'm just obsessed. When it first came out, I just was like, what is a lip topper? I just thought it was a way for a brand to take your money, like an extra thing that they were like, buy this, you need this. Like, you, I just thought, you can't win. Like, I buy everything that you tell me to, and then you tell me I need one extra thing. But you really do need this lip to wear. I'm not going to lie. It's what I've actually got on today on top of my March Acres lip gloss that I've literally been wearing for the past five years. It makes your lips look so luscious. It gives you shine. They look mirrored. They look just, oh, glossy, amazing. A concealer that I have been loving. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Ah! I love this stuff. This is the concealer I've been waiting for all my life. This is like the Urban Decay concealer, just thicker, but like looks exactly the same. Looks amazing, looks flawless. This concealer makes me look so bright and awake. I just love things that 
fit seamlessly in your routine. There's nothing worse than like buying a new foundation or something that you have to kind of treat differently. You have to be like, oh, I've got to powder this between six to eight because I know that. Like, that's a mess. Like, I like things that just seamlessly fit into my routine. From the day I bought this, I literally was like, okay. The only thing is I'm not a fan of pot concealers. I think it's kind of awkward for them to apply. At first, I kind of went in with my beauty blender, which was really awkward. And then I had a concealer brush that I don't really use. So I went ahead and I've just started using that to apply this concealer to my face. I finally caved and bought the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I know a lot of people on YouTube have been comparing this a lot of people have been saying it's kind of similar I'm looking forward to just being able to kind of compare the two and see which one I love the most because there's nothing I love more than a battle of the concealers <laughs> get this another skincare product this is the balance me congested skin serum i've been suffering with these little tiny bumps on my skin i actually have a tiny bit just there and a tiny bit just there which like i said have been emphasized by the nico Barrera highlighter sorry i've mentioned this in a favorites video before but when i reuse something and it just works so amazingly good i always 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 want to just bring it back to my channel remind you guys hey i'm still loving this for those of you guys who were not subscribed to me when i first mentioned it i'm mentioning it again if you are suffering from small bumps this will really save you it's not so much gonna help if you have like really bad acne but if you have small bumps in your skin if you have rashes within two to three days the spot literally goes down naturally it doesn't leave any dark marks I'm so sad I didn't discover this earlier because this would have saved me a lot of like time and effort and beef when I was younger it would have definitely been something that would have helped me with my teenage acne this is not for scarring but if you do want to clear up anything this will help you but you will have to follow up with something after in the case that you do have scarring i've been trialing the ordinary products i think i have about four to five serums from them that i use if you guys do want to kind of follow up review on those serums do let me know because i just I, i've become the skincare queen all i do is sit on youtube and literally watch korean skincare videos in the next few months you're probably going to see me featuring a lot of korean products on my channel because i just it, it's such an amazing concept to me the 10 stop korean routine it's something that i do currently do with the exception of the essence and the ampoules i do use everything else in the routine including some screen everything i double cleanse Gah! some more eyeshadows these are the colourpop pressed single shadows i've had these for about three months now ever since they released them i haven't mentioned them yet because i really wanted to try each and every single one of them get an idea of the formula to really decide if i love them and guys i love them they are actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. This one's Flower Boy, this one's Wait For It, this one's High Strung, and then this one's Save It For Later. I've got all four of those on my eyes today. I think the formula is super nice. I have mentioned on Snapchat, I don't think I've ever said it on my channel, that when you feel them, they do feel a lot more dry and are not like necessarily as creamy as some other shadows, but that does not discount them at all. They are amazing for the price. You are getting an amazing, amazing product. I'd be happy to spend $5 a pop for each and every one of these shadows. I really want to shout out these because I think they're amazing. This is the free palette that you get when you buy four shadows. If you take out the silver lining on the top, you literally get the magma and then you can pop up to 10 shadows in here. So if you do have one and you don't have enough space and you're kind of hating the four the format with the four then pop them out and you can do this one last beauty product then we are on to random favorites i want to mention some eyelashes because i love eyelashes i literally stick to my same three pairs no four pairs i stick to my queen bees i stick to my socialized glamorous i wear my coco lashes in soho all the time and then i wear backstage beauty lashes in the star hollywood they're the ones i'm wearing today i literally wear rotate between these four lashes so of course i want to try out more lashes my problem is i just feel like so many of the lashes on the market are so expensive like i know a lot of youtubers swear by like lily lashes a new bounce them i just feel like that's a big investment like 30 pounds do you know how many like for example color pop shadows i can get for that that's six color pop shadows you know I did cave when I was in Paris I thought treat myself because I didn't buy a lot on that trip and I went ahead and bought these Huda Beauty lashes Ooh, can we looking cute bitch I bought these Huda Beauty lashes in the style Samantha I just I love a big exaggerated lash and when I put them on they do look really 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 good I can't lie so maybe I might not delve into the 30 lash realm but I think the like you know 20 pound lash realm you know maybe we'll give it a try so for my random favorites number one I have been listening to the receipts podcast literally for the last two weeks the receipts podcast is basically a podcast of four girls they are so amazingly entertaining they talk about everything from love to relationships life problems people can submit dilemmas and things like that i don't like listen to their bad experiences and think oh my god i never want to get into a relationship like i listen to their bad experiences and think learn like read the signs and realize like he ain't it we can all relate to a lot of the things that they say on their podcasts which is why i just love the podcast 
so much. My second and last random favourite is this Anker speaker which I bought. I literally bought this because when I'm doing my tutorials I, list, I used to listen to music on my phone and I do like the little bloopers at the end. But I bought this because sometimes my music just isn't loud enough you know. Sometimes I just want to party. In my house I'm always always listening to music. If I'm not listening to music I'm singing so I figured just so that my family don't have to listen to me singing all the time I'm gonna get this to maybe drown it out a little bit for them. Although I just sing even louder when I have this one. Can't lie. So now we're gonna listen to my music favorites on my random favorite Ding! I don't need no fraud no drama when you call my network sound like you need me to get that That's an FYI, I, I started from the bottom, now we here now. Did she wanna take me away? It's some tick time. And I'm not from the move when they see me with my bird trick session. Painting cold medicine. I tell her come and jump in my Addison League. Cause there's no time, no time to lose. I've got my heart for free. I just called the driver. In a place in a bloody water. Give me done talking. Give me dogs, them done mocking me. One time, two time, we tell me dog this life. Ooh. Oh, the fans want nada. I'm really in a feel safe, nada. Sweet man up like mama. Would you, would you like fries with that? Uh. So that was my beauty favourites, my random favourites, as well as my music favourites. Every time I think I'm going to do a short video, it ends up being super long, so I hope I can edit this down. As always, guys, leave me the products that you have been loving this month, as well as any ones that I've spoken about that you guys have tried. Don't forget to connect with me on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time you're watching, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of video. My next video will probably be another tutorial, so be ready for that thank you guys so much for watching again i will see you in my next video bye